Hello my darlings, good evening and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is like a follow-up video on the video that I uploaded yesterday about um, product suggestions for people that are in China and you're having skin issues, you're having acne, um, spots, acne scars and what have you. I made a lot of suggestions about products that I use. So today's video is a follow-up video on the do's and don'ts when you have acne or when you're suffering from acne scars. So this is for some of you who have already sent me a message this morning on WeChat and some of you are sounding really, really, really desperate. So this video is for you guys. The first thing that you are not supposed to do when you're struggling with acne or when you have acne scars is don't be desperate. Yes, don't be desperate. I know that feeling like Oh, you just want to get this acne or this acne scars off your skin you are very desperate you want products you want this you want so, that um being desperate when you are struggling with acne or acne scars is only gonna um, make you end up spending a lot of money buying irrelevant products and you're also gonna be among those people that when you hear someone say project uh, product suggestions you're running like send me a link i want to purchase i want to do this like you need to even if, even if i say this product is good you need to also you know do some research yourself you need to act, at, at least listen to the video first. Not just when I say, oh, maybe skin advanced. You hear the first word, skin advanced, and you're running, oh, can you send me a link to buy skin advanced? I probably have other suggestions or, you know, other things that I have to say about this product that you can also filter into your own, um, you know, thoughts and decide which products that you would like to purchase. So just stop being desperate. Stop, um, you know, spending your money for no reason. I mean, if you have too much money to spend, that's your business. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's your money. So just don't be desperate. Do your research. You know, pay attention. Calm down. Listen. And then decide on what product to buy. Okay? The second don't, okay, is you have to stop piling up makeup on your face. Piling up makeup on your face when you have acne or acne scars doesn't really, really help especially when your acne are still very much active, makeup is not the answer. I know sometimes you're so insecure. You want to, you know, use makeup to cover up those things. I have been there before. And I tell, and trust me, I know it's, it's very, very hard to stay away from makeup when you have such things on your face. So what you need to do is try as much as possible to stay away from makeup as much as you can, especially foundations. Maybe you can apply eyeshadows and the rest of it, but anything that goes on your skin, that goes on your pores, Try as much as possible to stay away from those things because, I mean, they you end up having clogged pores and they, you know, they increase your problems and, you know, it's as if the products that you're using are not working. You're probably the cause or the reason why those products are not working. So if, if your acne are still very much active and you're still struggling, please and please try as much as possible to stay away from makeup you know start having positive thoughts start telling yourself that you're beautiful even if you even if when you look in the mirror you feel you don't feel like that but you know assure yourself in your mind it's not about the mind it's not even about it. you know have have a posi positive thoughts you can be able to stay off makeup you know go ahead and develop a very good skin routine apply products and let the product allow your skin to breathe let the products work the first two things i said were don'ts down the third one i'm going to talk about is a do Develop a proper skincare routine, okay? Develop a skincare routine. Don't just be those people that any products you say you buy and then you pile it up on your face and believe they're going to work. Sometimes, you know, there's a procedure to doing things. You need to develop a proper routine that works for your skin. It might be difficult to develop a routine, especially if you're not really into the cosmetics thing or you're new to all these things. You can find someone that probably have the same skin type as you and begin to follow their routine and from there you develop yours. So for example, if you have oily skin, you can find someone that have oily skin and you can go ahead. I have oily skin. So yeah, if I follow my routine, I can, I'm going to put a link to my routine in this video. You can click on it and see what my routine looks like. Yeah, so routine, night routine, you have to be consistent every day. You don't have to do today, then tomorrow you don't do. Or next tomorrow you do and then you forget for two weeks. You have to be very, very consistent consistency is really really works i mean just just believe on the products also believe in the fact that your routines needs to be consistent and when you do it all the time you could begin to see results in the things that you're gonna that you're doing also when it comes to developing skincare routine um, if you have active acne or you have suffering from acne scars you need to develop a skincare routine that's um that is around um, moisturizing and um, hydration 
moisturization and hydration they are very very important I'm talking about developing a skincare routine i said develop skincare routine that is more of hydration and moisturization so why did i say this when you have especially when you have acne scars and you know active acne if your skin is always dry what your skin does is it tries to create a balance so what, what it does is it produces more oil and those oils they go in and they clog up your pores and your pores and then you develop pimples and acne and what have you so try as much as possible to stay hydrated drink a lot of water your products should all be hydration products or, or products that much moisturizes very well don't use dry products even if you feel you like you have oily skin like myself and you feel like your skin is already very oily so you probably don't need a lot of moisturization you probably do need more moisturization than someone that has dry skin that is one thing about oily skin oily skin is very very tricky on the surface it looks quite oily but beneath it it's very very dry. um another don't when you have um acne slash acne scars is to stay away from bleaching products or lightening products or toning products whichever name they choose to call it because for me all these things are just the same name bleach you know bleaching is like the extreme lightening mild toning on the other alkaline area so all these things are just the same they're just changing the name just to make you feel good about yourself if you have active acne stay away from products that says bleaching toning um skin lightening and all whatnot you know why because these products they dry out your skin have you ever seen someone that has um that has um, very bad um, uh, acne scars and they're using bleaching products when you look at them it's like their face is like really really fair but then you realize that those spots on their face, they actually, they're probably, if they bleach too much, it's probably looking red. Or when you look at the um, on their, uh, the face, uh, if they are still um, in the bleaching process or, you know, if they bleach too much, you find out that it is literally red. It's like this red patches on their face when you look at their face. But then if they stop bleaching, you realize that their face gets dull. And then those scars, they become even darker than they were before they started bleaching. So, it, so I know some of you, you become very desperate, you want to lighten those scars and you begin to apply some bleaching agents on your face, hoping that it's going to, you know, bleach those scars. But at the end of the day, what you get is your face gets very, very light and you end up with red patches on your face as a result of that, those bleaching creams. And the moment you stop, you end up with this very dull skin and those scars, they end up even darker than they were when you started. So stay away from bleaching, skin lightening, and toning products. Just take it gradually. Okay, so having said that, another thing that you need to do when you're struggling with acne or acne scars is that you need to invest in a very good sunblock. Very, very good sunblock. I already gave um, sunblock suggestions in my previous video, which I'm going to link in this video. So, if you're looking for a very good sunblock for your face, you need to probably go watch that video and take my suggestion. Or if you already have one that works for you, very good. So, you need a very good sunblock because if you already have dark spots and you're walking out there with no sunblock on your face and the sun is beating on you, those spots they become even darker than they used to be. Okay, so you need sunblock to at least. You know, cushion those areas so the sun does not go directly on you. The UV rays doesn't act, at least touch it. So you must invest in a very good sunblock. And some of you with oily skin, you don't like using sunblock because I mean, it's very oily and it makes some of you even say it makes you break out. But there are good sunblocks out there, so you can take my so you can take my suggestion, my sunblock suggestion from my previous video and invest in clear stem cell, um, max hyaluronic. Um, some luck okay so yeah that's it for this video yeah this video is especially because i mean some of the questions i was getting this morning from some people that they probably even watch the video just saw my video caption and they go like oh girl can you send me the link 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 click i'm like hold on link because i know i talked i talked about different products in this video if you're asking for product link which of the products are you actually asking for it means that you didn't actually watch this video you just heard someone say i have put just product suggestions and you're just going for give me link give me link give me link don't be desperate watch the video ask questions why should i buy a particular product i mean i'm ready to answer you okay i'm ready to give you reasons why you could think about investing in a particular product don't be desperate okay i mean if you have too much money to spend it's your money but okay my darlings that's it for this video today and i hope this video has helped someone 
these are some of the do's and the don'ts if you have acne scars or if you are currently struggling from acne so i hope this video has helped you share this with your friends share this with your enemies your loved ones your principalities everyone in your yard share it with them and don't forget to subscribe to this channel like my video and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you are notified whenever i upload a new video so until then guys i'll see you guys in my next one by the way, let's do a very quick podcast. I don't know if this, if this is actually being done soon. Okay. So this hair is from my um, curly hair collection. It's called the Makoya uh, Kinky Curl. Um, this hair was handmade by me myself. Okay. So if you want to purchase this hair, all you need to do is visit my website at www.loriahair.com to purchase this hair. It's the Mongolian water, uh, sorry, Mongolian kinky curl. Yeah, that's the hair. It's really, really nice. It doesn't tangle. I mean, I mean, I've been wearing this one for I want it for a little bit. I kept it on the back, wearing it again. Yep, yep, yep. So, guys, that's it.